Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video. Um, as you may know, I've been all about the mills lately. So today I wanted to show you how to actually make your own Lego City Mills plate from start to finish and the pieces that you need to go with it. So if this is something that you want to make with me today or see how I make it, stick around. If you have no idea what a Lego Mills plate is or why you would want one, stick around. But either way, you're gonna to wanna to hit the like button and I'm gonna go get my bricks and pieces and I'll see you back here. Hey guys, are you ready to make a Mills plate with me? So this is a super simple process. And if you don't know what a Mills plate is, Mills stands for Modular Integrated Landscaping System and it is an extremely strong foundation for which you can build your modular on. And it's very sturdy. There is really no bend or give in this plate like an ordinary base plate would have. So essentially you're just building a foundation for your modular building, your house, and it's going to be easy to move, easy to integrate into the city. And this is the direction that we're going with our city. So I thought I would show you my process for building one. Super simple. Uh, it's actually a, kind of a, a satisfying build. The only difficult part is just making sure that you get all the pieces that you need for it. And we went ahead and we bought uh, enough pieces to make 16 of these. I do have about 16 modulars that will be going into the city as soon as we uh, get that process going. So right now we're just putting together the mills plates for them. And you need... Uh, just a very simple combination of bricks and actually you can take what you see here and use the bricks that you have to fashion your own and then as you kind of see what your sample looks like you can go forth and order but I will put in the description the piece count of the exact bricks that I used here today. So you and I are going to make this together, we're going to keep it quick and simple and we're just going to get started. So I have 65 two by two yellow bricks. And I'm gonna start by placing one in each corner of my base plate. Now you can grab base plates from your local store. Right now Target has them for $5.99 on sale. I'm gonna grab a couple more of those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use eight of these one by four Technic bricks with the three holes. And they're gonna go on either side of the two by two yellow brick that I just placed in the corner. So you're gonna need eight of those total for the one plate. Just dig through my pile here. We went ahead and put each modular building that we had into its own bag so we can make sure we had the correct piece count. Okay, so again, eight of those one by fours and they're gonna go in each corner. Go next, you are going to take either a two by three, uh, just a simple two by three, or a two by four, or even two, two more, two more two by twos, and you're going to add those on the other side of that Technic brick. So, again, use what you have. Uh, this is not rocket science. What you are doing is creating a grid system on top of the existing base plate that came with your modular. Uh, just to create a strong base. And these bricks just go to creating that base. So you're gonna need eight of those. So whether you choose eight two by threes, eight two by fours, or 16 more two by twos, that's kind of up to you and what you have on hand. Next, we're gonna take two by twos and we're going to go around the perimeter of the base plate. And I'm going to put them in skipping two studs in between. So you're going to, that will equal three, okay, on each side. So I always like to do the perimeter first. I guess that's like building a puzzle, right? You always start with the edges. So I feel like once I start with the edges, then I can work my way in. We'll do three on each side, get this last side here. And we found that yellow is the cheapest for two by twos. So that works well. So let's get a picture here. Let's give uh, a view of this. So you can see that I have the Technic brick, the two by two brick, 
and the Technic brick here in the corner. And then I have a two by three and a two by three, but you can absolutely use a two by four and a two by four or two two by twos. That's up to you. We have a lot of old bricks, so I'm kind of just going through and using the old dirty bricks that we have. Uh, my husband's collection from 30 years ago is still in some bags. So those are some great bricks to use for this. You don't need to go out and buy a lot of shiny new ones because essentially it's just going to get covered up. And that's why yellow does not matter. White, orange doesn't matter because once all of your buildings are locked together, you're not even going to see them. Next, we want to fill in the inside. Now, you could effectively just cover this whole thing with bricks. You could line this all with bricks, not leave any gaps, but you don't necessarily need that many bricks to make a sturdy, stable surface. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first brick, and this is always the trickiest brick. You're going to go into the corner, and we'll bring it up close. We're gonna go into the corner, and we're going to move it in one on a diagonal so that it looks like that. And then we're going to follow the line over, skipping two bricks again, but you're going to be leaving a one stud gap here. There's a two stud gap between these two bricks, but a one stud gap here. And I'm gonna follow that all the way down, again with the two studs in between. And it's basically going to line up with the other bricks that you have put in here as well. And then that last one again, we'll have that one stud gap in between on a diagonal, but it will have a two stud gap where these one bys are because of course it's not a two by. And then we're going to work the line up. Same thing with a two stud gap going up the rows, but around the outsides, there's going to be a one stud gap. And once you do it once, you get the hang of it. Super simple. You can kind of just knock these out one after another. And there's, there's really not a ton of thought that goes into it after you get that one done. And then we're just gonna keep going down, leaving that one stud gap here, but a two stud gap in between down this way. And that is 65 total bricks, including the bricks around the outer edge and then the corner bricks. And so that is something to keep in mind when you are ordering. And I will again leave those piece counts in the description. And what we did was just, we knew we had 16 modules, so we just multiplied it all out. And then we were able to go on to BrickLink and then search for the best options. If you do want a video on how to go about doing that on BrickLink, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see if I can get one made if that would interest you. So it does take a little bit of uh, sweat equity to you know, come up with all the pieces. And in my next video, I am going to be going over the actual cost of doing Mills plates and what you'll want to keep in mind in terms of cost. So make sure to subscribe uh, below if you want to be able to see those videos and all of our Lego City updates as we put them out. I like to do a goals video or an update video every week on the city and we're always collecting new modulars so there all right i have covered my original base plate in this awesome series of two by two bricks and pieces and now i have a grid system to start putting my plates on so then what you will want are plates simple as that i've chosen four by fours and you will need 64 of them you can go with a different assortment if you have different pieces on hand. They don't all have to be the same exact shape and size. It depends on what the look is you're going for in your city and what modulars you're putting on top of them. I have chosen to match all of my modulars to their original color. As you can see beside me, I have the Palace Cinema. I'm not sure, maybe you can see. You can see part of the uh, movie, the uh, stars on the ground there. And that is a red base plate. So we have chosen to do red four by four plates. That will up your cost a little bit. If you wanna go with a same color for all your modules, you will keep the cost down as well with shipping included type of deal. Um, we did go for different colors. So that increased our price for making mills just a little bit though, just a little bit. But again, I'll go over all of that in another video on the cost of making a mills. Right now, I'm just making sure to push each one down securely because that is the point of a mills plate. 
is to create that absolute solid base. And it, honestly, it does not matter what color your bottom base plate is. I have a lot of extra blue. We, were, we are gonna have an ocean in the city, so I was collecting blue base plates, but now it doesn't really matter what that bottom base plate color is. I'll need to get blue four by four plates here instead to create the uh, ocean uh, mill system anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use up what I have. So each of your modulars does come with a base plate that you can use. However, some come with six, two 16 by 32 base plates and I highly recommend if you're looking for the strongest possible layout to switch that to a traditional 32 by 32 and reserve those for something else. You can always make a mills out of a 16 by 32. You'll just need half of the pieces. You'll still need the full, uh, corner Technic pieces though to, to do that. So keep that in mind, but you won't need as many plates on the top or bricks inside. Now your Creator 3 and 1 sets, they are, they are traditionally built on a place, plate to begin with. So you can incorporate them easily into this by removing whatever chunk of plates it's sitting on, your build is sitting on, and then just filling in around it. That's what we also did with the little toy shop that we purchased. So I'm almost done filling in. So this is super simple. It's a very satisfying build. I've made a mills plate in no time at all, really. And we'll do this for each one of our modules and we'll work on transferring over the ones we've already built. And then this is how we will build them from scratch when we open up the boxes. So I'm super excited. I really love the way a Mills play looks, and I think that it will be an, ex an exciting addition to the city. Although you don't see uh, a whole lot of the plate really once you're done, I think it creates a, a really solid look, and you can do some amazing landscaping detail with these as well. So I'm kind of setting myself up for rivers and ponds and the forest and those kinds of green space areas later on last brick. That's it. That is your mills plate. You can, so you'll put in your, um, let's see, these, the pin pieces, you can easily put these in just like you would when you're building the modular with what you're given. And these will all connect to each other. You've got the holes all around the side and they, once you build your mills roads, which we'll do in another video, these will also connect to your roads. So super simple. We've got a few in different colors to go with some of our different modules that we have. Tan and gray and green, and I even have brown. So that's it. That is how you build a mills plate from start to finish. So if you want to see more of this type of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy building.